hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm back with another reaction video this is a new thing that i'm going to be bringing to the channel um i'm going to be reacting to one of darman's videos and it's girl spreads rumors in her school what happens is shocking so yeah so with that being said give me a like comment down below if y'all would like to see um more of these types of videos just let me know in the comment section down below and we're going to get right on into this okay if y'all have not really been familiar with darman he is a big influencer and he's all about bringing like awareness to certain situations that people go through on a daily basis so if you have not checked him out you could check him out on facebook instagram and he also on youtube so we're gonna get on into this and then i found out that she still sleeps with a nightlight are you sure that's true positive a reliable source told me well maybe there's a good reason for that the fact that she's still scared of the dark at 16 <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised if she still wets the bed Need this for emotion. Right? I think we're done with it. Oh my gosh, she's crying. She's, crying. Hmm. she's all right. She's clearly upset about something. We'll find out what it is. Oh, no. Oh. Hey, Grace. Are you okay? Hey, Bri, I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? Why are you taking your Harvard stuff down? To be honest, I don't feel comfortable talking about this right now. I don't want anyone knowing about this. You don't have to worry about that. I would never tell anyone your business. You can talk to me. Be honestly, I think it has something to do with somebody spreading rumors around because it's like, or it could be something else like a family issue or something going on that, you know, people that she probably didn't want to tell anybody at the time, but let's get back into this. Well, I, I didn't get into Harvard. What? Are you serious? But you're like the smartest girl in school. How did that happen? I don't know. I, I mean, I nearly had perfect SAT scores and I had great letters of recommendation. Plus my, my interview, it, it went so well. I, I'm just confused. I'm so sorry. What else was that for you? Everyone was counting on me. My family, friends, even, even the principal. How am I supposed to tell them that I got rejected? You don't have to tell anybody anything until you're ready. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Wow, that's big. All I want to do is just sit in my room and never come out. Please, please don't tell anyone about this, Brie. I'll be so embarrassed. I promise, your secret's safe with me. Harvard's missing out. It's their loss. You're a good friend. I'll see you around. Okay. What's up with her friend over there by the lockers? Just like, does she really know what's going on? Or is she trying to tell her not to? It's just like, hmm. But let's continue. Bye. Hi. What happened? You will not believe what I just found out. Mm -hmm. Harvard rejected Grace. What? She didn't get it? Not oh. supposed to say anything. Oh, sorry. Um, but if you weren't supposed to tell anyone, why'd you tell me? Oh. You're my best friend, Stacy. Of course I'm gonna tell you. Uh, you know, maybe try not to tell anybody else. I don't think Grace would like that. Besides, that's how rumors get spread. I'm not gonna tell anyone, don't worry. I think I left a book in class. I'm gonna go grab it. Oh, okay. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah, what's up? You know who Grace is, right? Yeah. About Victoria? Yeah. What about her? Wait till you hear this tea. Okay. I can't believe Grace didn't get in Harvard. Yeah. Me too. How did you even find out, Bria? Well... 
I can't disclose my sources, but... Can I talk to you? Yeah. Give me a second. What's up? What happened to not telling anybody else? Oh, them? <laughs> I mean, they're like my second best friends. <laughs> what? a fake friend like you basically just use this girl to get information just so you can spread it like oh kids like she purposely told you do not tell anybody and what do you do you go tell this person and then even your friend tell you don't tell and you still went and told somebody else and this is like everybody knows and i guess the rumors got right back to her and she's like only person I told was this, so go back to the source, which was herself. Like, mm. let's continue. Really? I've never seen you hang out with them before. Regardless, you shouldn't be making fun of someone. I mean, you're never going to feel good about yourself when you hurt somebody else. You're right. I'm just getting carried away, I guess. Anyway, I'll say bye to them and come eat with you. Oh, I have some work I have to get done, so I'm right. heading to the computer lab, but to see you after school? Yeah, cool. Just please remember what I said. Anyways, I heard it's because she got really bad scores on her SATs. No way. Grace is the smartest girl in our class. Didn't she get a perfect GPA? Yeah, but apparently the pressure became too much for her. Remember when she missed school for a few days a while back? Apparently she had like a mental breakdown. Wow, this is all so shocking. You didn't hear it from me. Who's that? Evelyn Billups. She's new. And I heard some things. Really? What? Apparently, her dad stole some money from some people. So her parents are going through a divorce. That's why she transferred here. Are you serious? Yeah, but I could be wrong. I probably shouldn't have said anything. It's okay. I'll be right back. Wait, are you going to ask her about it? No, of course not. I'm just gonna go say hi and introduce myself. She's new, you know? Hey, I'm Bria. I saw you sitting over here by yourself and thought I'd join you. Oh, um, sure. Uh, I'm Evelyn. Nice to meet you. I remember what it's like being the new girl. First day is always the hardest. Tell me about it. So I, um, I heard some things and I, I just wanted to make sure you were okay. You know what? Never mind. Just forget it. No, it's, it's fine. What's up? I heard some rumors and I, um, I, I, I hate gossip, but I, I just want to make sure you're okay. Is it true? about your dad, that he stole money. Dad, I need to talk to you. Hey, Grace, is everything okay? Did you tell people what I told you this morning? The thing that I specifically said not to say. No way. I told you I wouldn't tell anyone about that. Well, people know, Bria. And you were the only person I told. Grace, I promise I didn't tell anyone anything. Maybe someone overheard our conversation. You have to believe me. I don't know. I, I feel sick to my stomach. I'm gonna go to the nurse's office to see if I can go home because I really don't want to be here right now. Okay. I feel better. I'll try and find out who spread the rumor. What was that about? Oh, that's Grace. She's like the smartest girl in our school. But between you and me, She's a little pe the person that spread the rumor was herself. Like, oh my god! And then you always try to get the information on the new girl, so you could try to spread that as well. Like, not for nothing. Me personally, when I was in school, I'm glad I didn't hang around those type of people. So, yeah. But let's get back into this. Paranoid. I feel bad for her. Wow, that, that sucks. Anyway, you were saying about your dad. Keep it going, Bria. This tea is so hot. So, Evelyn Billups' dad stole $50,000. And the worst part is, 
It was from non-profit organizations. No way. It's true. Now, because of him, all these hungry children can't eat because the money's all gone. Wait, how do you know so much about her? It's her first day. Because I just know. And I have a feeling that she knew about it all along. But you didn't hear it from me. So, you've been running your mouth. You know what I'm thinking, but you know what? I'm about to hold this until the end because if, that's the, if I'm correct on my hunch, I won't be so happy. But I'm gonna let, let's continue. What's about me, Bria? What are you talking about, Ariana? I didn't say a word about you. I know that's a lie. Does she still sleep with a nightlight? Sound familiar? Who told you that? It doesn't matter. You told everyone. And she exaggerated everything. Do you want to know why I sleep with a nightlight? I'll tell you. Mm. When my dad died, my little brother sleeps in my room. Because he's scared of the dark. So yeah, I sleep with a nightlight for him. I see. But I promise you, I didn't tell everyone about the nightlight. I might have said something else, but it wasn't about that. So what did you say then? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. I don't remember, but it was probably something small. Well, I'm sure you remember what you said about me. Didn't know I was here, did you? I heard everything you said earlier. <gasps> Listen, I can explain. How could you spread lies about me? You don't even know me. And you exaggerated everything. I didn't mean to exaggerate what I was saying. I... Yes, you did, Bria. Yeah, you've been doing that since I've known you. Why is everyone attacking me? Don't act so innocent. You spread lies about Alex and I, and that pretty much caused our breakup. And when I didn't make the volleyball team, you literally told everyone. You've been spreading rumors about everybody, and we're sick of it. You guys, I can explain myself. Is there a you problem see? over here? Yeah. She's the problem. No, I'm not. I didn't do anything. Yes, you did, Bria. I've been here one day and everyone thinks all these things about me that aren't even true. All because of you. All right, that's it. All three of you to my office. But I... Now. All right, someone tell me what's going on here. How about we start with Ariana? Or how about you start with Bria? Because she's basically the cause for all of this. Like... You always got that one person that doesn't know how to shut up or keep a secret. That was Bria. But let's continue. Bria's been spreading rumors about me and a lot of other students. Even about Evelyn. Is this true, Miss Phillips? Yeah. Bria, do you have anything to say about this? Sir, there's another student here who'd like to join in this discussion. Okay, send him in. Miss Ryan, are you okay? I heard about what happened in the hallway, and I wanted to say that Bria is also spreading rumors about me. She has? Yeah, I, I didn't get into Harvard and- Oh, no. I'm so sorry. It's all right, I've come to terms with it. But half of the school already knows thanks to Bria. So what? Everyone's gonna find out everything anyway. You guys are really just making this a bigger deal than it has to be. All right, ladies. Thank you. I'm gonna ask you to leave so I can talk to Bria alone. Bria, you know it's not okay to gossip about your classmates. I really just don't see what the big deal is. No one's even gonna care by tomorrow. Those three girls will care. How would you like it if people were spreading rumors really like about it. you? I wouldn't care. I don't think. That's what everybody says. But when it comes tenfold back to them, it's just like they're put in that same predicament. It's just like, how do you deal? How do you recover? And just how do you, like, how do you come back from that? Like, just like that rumors are rumors, but when you feed into it and make and take it personally, it's a different story. But then again, also, um, if somebody tell you something in confidence, you should be a st upstanding person to not like, listen, I'm going to keep the secret. I'm not going to tell anybody like treat people how you want to be treated. You don't want your business out there. So don't tell nobody else's business. So yeah, let's see what her 
repercussions is for telling other people's gossip and not making sure it's factual. Think. Am I gonna get in trouble for this? I'll tell you what. I'm gonna give you an assignment to complete today and you can come back to me tomorrow and I'll let you know my decision. What's the assignment? I want you to write down everything you said about everyone on that sheet of paper. Then I want you to tear it up into tiny little pieces and throw it out the window on your way home. Got it? Okay. What's that gonna do? I'll tell you tomorrow. For now, you can just start writing things down. This doesn't even make any sense. Hey, good morning, Bria. So, did you finish the assignment? Yeah. I ripped up the paper and threw the pieces out the window like you asked. Luckily, my mom didn't see me littering. That's okay. Because what I want you to do next is go out and find all those pieces of paper and bring them back to me. I'm confused. Bring them back to me and I won't give you detention. Mm. But I threw them out the window. They blew away in the wind. Exactly. <laughs> I'm so confused. When we say hurtful things about someone, it works the same way. We're never able to get those words back, just like those pieces of paper, Bria. Mm -hmm. I guess I never thought about it like that. So does this mean I have detention? <laughs> Hopefully, it'll give you time to think about what we've talked about. Thanks that was smart. So, hey, you okay? What happened? Hey, I'm fine. I have detention for a week. That sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you about it later, okay? Okay, sounds good. believe what happened to Bria? I know, it's crazy, right? I heard she's got detention for a month. And uh, she has to pick up garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Serves her right. My friend Alice, she told me that Bria only spreads rumors about people she's secretly jealous of. Makes sense. I heard that she keeps a notebook full of lies she uses to spread about people. It's all over the school. Wow, what a weirdo. So you're spreading rumors about me now? None of that stuff is true. Well, I heard it is. And even if it isn't, mm. who cares? You do it to people all the time. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You're standing up for her. Didn't she gossip about you too? Yeah, but I don't think she should go through it. It hurts. So how about we just stop talking badly about each other and we'll be happier. Otherwise, this will never end. Deal? Okay. You're right. I'm sorry, Bria. I'm sorry, too. Deal. I'm going to use the bathroom. Oh, whoa. Wow. Thank you so much for standing up for me. I'm really sorry about everything I said to you. I wish I could take it all back, but I know I can't. I understand if you can't forgive me. It's okay, Bria. I already have. And I'm sure you know how it feels now. Yeah. I do. <sighs> All those things that people were saying about me really hurt. I better go find Ariana and Evelyn now. That's a good idea. But hey, before you leave, I got into Stanford. <laughs> wow, Grace, that's amazing. I swear I won't tell a soul this time. It's okay, Bree. You can tell as many people as you like. I want everybody to know because, as you said, it's Harvard's loss. <sighs> Dream just dropped a new video. Who's Dream? He's one of the biggest YouTube and Twitch creators. He, he mostly plays my. Oh my gosh, that was a great ending. Like I was kind of like really expecting it.
But I also kind of had a feeling that that girl Evelyn was standing there by her locker. So I was just like, hmm. And I definitely, she didn't like it once the rumors was about her. Because it's just like, well, if you know what's true, then you shouldn't like feed into it. But it's like, it does hurt. Rumors hurt just like words hurt when you're screaming and having an argument with other people. Words hurt. But I also like how the principal gave her that assignment. And she got to see firsthand how it felt and how the other girls, you know, felt in the same situation. And a good thing that, you know, she was able to make a friend behind it. And hopefully she learned her lesson and know not to spread rumors about other people because nobody wants lies being told about them. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Let me know in the comment section if y'all would like to see more of these videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.